Whoops. Boy Jay started back again. Just uh, finally got all this stuff uploaded the right way on my new iPad 4. And I want to show y'all the difference. Colors, I guess. So, how are we going to do this? I hold this? Can I hold this? Yeah, something like that. So, this is the iPad 2 above, iPad 4 down here. It already looks brighter, right? Like, let me try to adjust it. Yeah, still looks brighter. And you see how low this one is? And let me show you how high this one is. Look how high that is. Look how low this one is. It's pretty crazy. Let me turn this up now. Ooh, that is bright, though. So, that is what it all the way bright on that one. The old iPad. Now, the new iPad. Let's get it all the way bright. Okay, now let's go to the apps and stuff so you can see the difference. Here you go. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I can kind of tell the difference that this is the old one, this is the new one colors are just a little bit more brighter than what it is on the second one. Fourth generation and second generation. Now let's see, let's try, guess we could try like a YouTube video or something. Then we can really see a difference. Or we can go to the cameras first. Let's just go straight to the cameras. Let's try a camera on a new one. So, let's focus there. Got the focus on. Woo! Pictures take really fast. And let's try to reverse it back to me. So you see me. Got the focus. Woo! It's crazy. Let's try the other camera on the old one. Nope, don't need that. Okay. Forgot I got that case on there. Oh, um, man. Let's take a picture, focus here. Let's go. Ah, takes just as fast as with the new iOS 6 update, of course. But I already know the camera is nowhere near as good. Let me flip it to the other side, though. Yeah, horrible. Mm. My dad comes in on my review, as y'all see. And then my dad yeah. take a but picture sir, of both of us. This is what we do. Yeah, this is what we do. Y'all yeah. can't, you, all your haters, you gotta love us. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so you hear that from dad coming in on the middle of the review. Oh, this is funny. I know y'all gonna love that part, YouTube. But yeah, so let me try the video now. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. YouTube, hmm, that's a good video. I think I'm gonna try that Call of Duty again since I already did it on the iPad Mini on Friday. Oops, got me tapping that iPad, that's funny. Call of Duty Black Ops, let's see. Is it gonna push it? Yep. Oh man, click two things at once. See if that'll work on there. Okay. So while that's loading there, I'll try to bring it up on the other one. <laughs> Man, Call of Duty already got 16 million views. Goodness. Maybe kill it. You see that? Let's go. Okay, let's get that same video over here, as y'all see, bringing up that same video. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to landscape. Okay, so we got both these on landscape. Go ahead and make that full screen. Go ahead and make this one, if it'll let me. Oh, got to wait 
wait for it to load first. Okay, full screen. And we're going to start both of those. Looks like it's taking a minute for the other one to do it. It is supposed to be faster. I forgot about that. <laughs> forgot that the four is supposed to be way faster. And as you see, there's a complete difference. They both run on the same Wi-Fi too, and it's crazy. It's taking forever long for that one to start. The graphics on here are looking really nice. And the other one's finally started. Look at the different graphics. You see that one? Let's go to this one. Go back to this one. All we do, man. Go back to the second one. iPad 4. iPad 2. <laughs> the only thing I can say is that the speaker sound way more louder on the on the iPad 4 though I'll tell you that much Okay, so make sure you get that Call of Duty as you see. Yeah, but when it comes down to graphics and colors, I have to say iPad 4 wins. Comes down to speed, iPad 4 wins. When it comes down to camera, iPad 4 wins. Um, everything else, I mean, I mean, if you want to save some money, go ahead and get your iPad 2. I mean, it has dropped $200 left now. Basically, it's the price of buying an iPad Mini, or you go get your iPad Mini if you like smaller stuff. But, um, you know, me, I had to go ahead and give me an iPad for it because I promised myself I would once it came out. So I went ahead and sold the two. So it'll probably be the last day I get to look at this again. And I have upgraded already to the white. Let's get it brighter. Yep. Put that brightness on there to the white iPad 2. And I also upgraded my gigabytes to a 32 gig so I can put more music on it. Because this one was just... Yeah, it got full too fast. That 16 gig is just not enough. So, I recommend if you do get an iPad, any iPad at all, always get a 32 gig. Um, that's the way to go because 16 gig is just not enough. But, uh, yeah, this is your boy J-Star, you know, giving you the overview of the iPad 4, iPad 2. Got the MacBook, you know. I'm on the iPhone 5. Got the desktop over there. You know, that's what I'm doing. It's your boy J Star. Now I'm is out, you know. Keep up with my reviews. I told y'all I'll keep y'all updated on everything that I get. I'm out. Peace.